once we get the grip adjusted so that the left thumb and left hand is in a proper position, it really helps us to support that golf club as we go back. So as we see again, we get the left thumb just to the right side of center, shake hands with the right hand, go back slowly. You get the club to the top, the left wrist is in a good position, the club face matches the left forearm. From here, it's much easier for the club and the arms to react and for the club to swing down and through into a good finish position and stay on path. The next thing I'd like to talk about in action reaction is the opposite. For all of our friends that have a little different problem in that they're hooking the ball. The ball ends up in the left trees all the time. You, you'll be surprised at what you see here with the right hand grip. Typically when we see pro problems in the grip with a, a hook, the right hand is almost always the cause, the action that creates the negative reaction of the hook. You'll see a lot of players will have a good left hand position where the left thumb's in a nice position here just to the right of center, about two o'clock on the grip. Then the right hand, and this is a mistake that I constantly see, a right hand, and it's especially prevalent with those of you that interlock or overlap your grip. If you see this right hand go under where the palm is facing up, that's almost always a sign that no matter what the grip looks like here, if I extend my right arm, you can see there the club face is very closed in the hand. Take the right hand off, extend the left arm, the club face is square. I want you to try this instead. When we get that right hand a little under, you see at the top that club face is pointing toward the sky. You might be able to set your glass up on top of the face there at the top and uh, that, that's going to be a, a real indicator that we've got the face shut. From that position, it releases down, the club face is closed, we start looking into the left trees for the golf ball. So to fix that, let's keep the left thumb at about two o'clock, just right of center. Shake hands with the right, just reach out to shake hands. I had a, a wonderful experience working with Harvey Penick as long as I did. Uh, Mr. Penick was a, the master of the grip and no one studied the grip more than he did. By shaking hands with that grip, you can see that that right palm doesn't open up and face the sky. It's simply just shaking hands like you're meeting a new friend. From there, we can turn, we get set here, we turn the club back to waist high, it's in a good position. When we were looking before, when the right hand was facing up to the sky, you get to waist high, the club face is going to be very shut in this position. So we get the cause fixed by just shaking hands with the grip, we go to waist high, the club face is nice and square, we turn right to the top, again the club face is in a great position at the top. From here, arms tend to fall right down the line, I release the club and finish, we end up hitting more fairways, making it a lot easier to reduce that handicap.